Hey, you doing here? Okay, uh, back on the uh, dryer repairs, the dryer uh, hooching, I guess you'd say. I uh, ordered the parts, I ordered all the parts for the bushings, the door seals, which you don't really need, but the plastic bushings things there I need. Uh, ended up being 70, $77 at the repairclinic.com but I got I, I was getting ready to, like I said well I got to put it back together just to get it out of the way I don't have room and I was thinking about the first I was, you know I was talking about well maybe I could make me a temporary bushing out of wood and I could the uh, my hardwood I was thinking about using is not quite thick enough because this is pretty tall here uh, and it needs to be about at least you know that's just right that way but then I thought, well, that'll wear, that's not thick enough. So I thought, well, I could leave some down here. You know, it doesn't matter. There's enough space to do that. I just can't have it this long. I have to cut it off. And leave plenty for it to wear into it. But this is treated to Tubifor. Brand new, just got it a couple months or so ago, working on the bathroom. And, uh, <clears throat> but, you know, it's soft. And, and that, uh, that hit ball hitch thing, hitch ball, that's what it looks like. I think that's, they call it something like that, but anyway, uh, it's already, you know, it's been riding on the steel in here and this, it's almost went all the way through it, this is just part of the bracket, and uh, I think I showed it a while ago, but let's see, let's see how bad that is, it was almost done through it, that's what was squealing and squeaking, it had gone all the way through the plastic, See, this is not supposed to be a hole, a, a, a through hole. That is supposed to be a hole on top. It would go in there, and sit in this. It's tall to keep it from, you know, jumping up out of there. And then it was kind of shaped like a ball. And then this was solid, way up there. So it ran, wore all the way through it, down to the steel bracket that was hold, holding it up. So. uh can use those for you know well I was thinking I could use those for template holes and stuff but the more I thought about it what I'm saying is to help me line it first I saw this let me get this camera aimed over here at the aim it over here it's a you know, hitch ball I think that'll be alright and get give the idea here the sun doesn't kill us completely See, there it is. Looks like a trailer. It looks like a trailer hitch. Where it's sitting there like that, it looks like a gooseneck <laughs> hitch ball sitting there. But that's aluminum. And I thought, well, aluminum's pretty good. Uh, you know, it, it would. Uh, it's soft enough, but to make a good bushing. But uh, but this is very very rough from riding on that steel. So it would just cut it up. Plus, I was you know I was going to mount it on this. What I was thinking is I mounted on this like this. But I was like, well, I went to looking through my... Oh, you can't see any of this. Okay, so let's show you the other one first. Since that's not the one I'm going to use. Then this is uh, what I'm thinking of now. It would be like this. And that would set in it. And this would keep it... This was already set in like that. It was already in my, my bucket of metal parts. Let's see if we can get back. Yeah, the, more, the less light backlight we got, the better off we'll be. So this was in my bucket of metal parts, and that is a U joint. This right here is a U joint cap, you know, to hold the U joint on your rear end. And that is not, you know, a proper thing. I don't know what I was doing. Maybe I don't know what I was doing with it. I don't remember. It was just in my. This was actually in one of my toolbox of old tools and metal parts and stuff and car parts and stuff so uh that will actually have a way to keep it from jumping up out of there it's really hard steel so it it would never it wouldn't wear through that in a long time i'll put grease in there so it, i'm sure pretty quickly it would be making noise but anyway it'll be a week before our parts get here so i i think i'm gonna try to i don't think it'll be too hard this one here like i was saying couldn't show you a minute ago. I was going to set it in there like that. Use this bracket to hold, you know, to, as a mounting bracket. And, uh, but then, of course, it was it's going to rock unless I put something under it. And, and anyway, that's what I found and what I got.
this piece of cut off piece of angle iron I've got some weld on it and I'll probably have to grind off it's a little too long to fit in the hole so anyway you know if you keep junk around and you're handy I do have a welder but I won't need to be doing any welding I just need to drill some holes uh, I don't want to, you know, I'm not trying to fabricate something to last forever. I'm just, uh, I don't imagine I would want to leave it in there, although it'll be way stronger than that stupid piece of plastic. But it'll probably make noise. Now I thought about putting, you see, I'll have to cut that off so it'll go in there. <coughs> I thought you'd went on your trip. Oh, you were working. Mom told me yesterday you were going on the trip. Mom? Well, I got this all apart. And, uh, look at this thing. You remember this? That's supposed to be the bottom of it. It's supposed to be that thick. That's what those... Uh, so that's what, then the noise was from it, it went all the way through that and was almost through this bracket. I figured it was on some kind of roller just on that center thing. Yeah, it was like it was put together like that. Yeah. Yeah, it doesn't have those wheels like some, I was looking at videos today. It doesn't have wheels like some of the other ones do. But it almost went all the way through that. It was squealing and it was rubbing on the side. It was. It, it had gotten. It was right almost. Right there. Well, yeah, I was rubbing on that. I didn't see that. Yeah, because it had gotten completely out of place. Yeah. And it was almost, you could see light between the front here, you know, and the bushing, the little plastic things you put on there with all that felt and all that, those plastic things are gone. Oh, yeah. They're on the, where are they? They're on that door. You can see them right there. Oh, yeah. So I ordered the whole kit again, but it'll be a week before it gets here. So I think I'm going to do something temporary. This would be way stronger than that, but this, I need to buy it. <laughs> yeah. We can't, a whole week without a dryer would be in <laughs> trouble. <laughs> so, uh, I'm gonna, I found some parts that I have, and this is steel, hard steel. It's actually a huge one kit. It was already just laying there like that. I'm gonna put this in there. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna screw it through there. And then it'll sit right in there, put some grease in there. And I know it'll last a week. It probably lasts a very long time, but it might start making noise. Where's the trash can? They're outside. <laughs> I need room to work. So I took them out and all that stuff out. Yeah, I didn't even think you were going to be back to Sunday or something. You went for a slab today? So oh. Oh. Part of a bunch of freaking steel. I bet you. Yeah. 